Okay. Well, that's just how streaming goes then. So, <laughs> looks like the first attempt didn't work out too well, but now we should be good. So I'm gonna have my playback here, make sure that we don't have much uh, fuzz in the feedback. I wanna make sure we sound good. It's probably gonna take us a couple of minutes to get the game set up, and I wanna give people some time to hop into the stream if they'd like. Okay, so the goal is to get the display capture up without the game crashing. That's going to be the biggest thing. So right now it should be showing my desktop. Allison Peters, welcome. You're the first one to the stream. Uh, we were just trying to stream like five minutes ago, but we had a little bit of technical difficulties, but it should be better now. Okay, I'm going to try booting Capu Cave up now, and we'll see if my monitor dies again. Because if it does, that's going to be real bad news. And I think it's good. Now here's the real question. In the stream, is it going to show up right? Yeah! Oh, it's centered in the stream, too. On my screen, it's, it's uh, left-aligned. Perfect. Alright, I think we got it good. Uh, I'm gonna take off my headset real quick and listen to the stream to make sure that the game's not too loud. This will just take a second. Let's from the internet. Capu Cave, let's go! That's right, I am so down for some summertime vibes. Let's see. So the music sounds fine. Sorry about the echo that's probably coming through the playback right now. Uh, I definitely don't want to skimp out on the music or sound effects, so I'm gonna go ahead and testing move one those two three around. testing testing one two three testing. Is this thing on? I'm gonna lower testing, the, the one, two, voice three, testing. Mainly, I think. Testing one. Okay. So I think I'll start in just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this now, so I can just have the stream on my phone see what chat's up to. Alright, so I guess I'll just officially start the stream now. Basically everyone, I am bored, I'm drained, it's been a busy week, and I've got another busy week ahead of me, so I'm looking forward to just sitting down and enjoying some classic Nancy Drew with Creature of Capture Cave. This game to me has always been kind of a misfit game, you know, for a Hardy Boys game, parts of it are a little bit lacking, but I just love the vibes. I think that it's definitely a really fun game when it, if you look at it as an adventure game kind of different from the other ones and uh, I, I've never been to Hawaii forgive me but uh, I, I don't know for sure how authentic this game is in that respect but uh, hey regardless I'm I'm just excited because I love these vibes they're very nostalgic so I'm just gonna sit down and play a casual stream for once instead of speed running or ranking something let's just have some fun so don't we get the cool Nancy desk here Pretty sure Hi, we do. I'm Nancy. Yeah. Trump. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center starter. of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. Okay. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about talk me real quick to see how I sound when Nancy's talking. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If okay, you think so it you're sounds ready to dive like into that mystery, <laughs> we're the same just click on the talking plane ticket and volume. be on your way. Okay, okay, so a general rule I guess I'll try to follow is that when Nancy or somebody else is talking, I'm going to try not to talk over them, because if I do, it'll probably just sound terrible. But hey, I'm sure we'll get it to work. So anyways, God, I, it's it feels good to be uh, just playing an anti-drew game casually, and I haven't even hit start yet. So, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to take my time with this one. Dossier. Uh, I love all the, the scrapbooks in here. I haven't gotten to just look at these in so long. Oh, I, I love I love the message on the message in Haunted Mansion one because they chose like such a good color scheme with the black and red. It looks so nice. Story we're told is in the chat. Oh, is she? I wasn't looking. Uh, dang it! How do I get my chat back up? Where did my chat go? <laughs> Excuse me, one second. Story told looks and sounds good. I agree. It has a great atmosphere and some really fun elements. Heck yes, nostalgia. Nostalgia is what we're going for today. Uh, 
I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel a very strong urge to build every single necklace that I can from Big Island Mike, so... We're probably going to be racing through every part of the game where we play as Nancy, just so we can get back to Big Island Mike, and... Because, God, I love that. And I, I don't know if we're going to beat the whole uh, the whole game today. The stream's going to be... Stream <laughs> Sorry, I'm just tongue-tied today. The stream's probably going to be, like, two, two and a half hours or something, because then i got to go to work in, like, three hours or so. But, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to have a good time. Oh, we this game has the custom mats, doesn't it? we got to do that. Um... Reading oh. that can wait. Oh, I've never heard those lines when you click on this on the screen. I can look in there later. That's Calling cool. someone now is not a good idea. Okay, but yeah, um, menu. We have custom, uh, borders and stuff, don't we? Testing. Yeah, interface designs. Okay, there goes the music. Okay, so we got the classic default, tropical green jungle, Hawaiian hibiscus teal, and pink Hawaiian hibiscus. God, the pink one's my favorite. Like, by far, but I'm going to pace myself, and let's just go for Tropical Green Jungle. Let's do it. So, Testing. One, two, three. go ahead and get back to continue game. Here we are at the desk. Oh, that's so clean. I love it. I love it so much. And now we have, like, the Hardy Boys backpack and stuff. Man, I wish more games had uh, custom interfaces. Okay, we've been on here for too long. Let's just hit the case file and see what we've got. Oh, I get to read it. There's no dub. Current assignment. Travel to Hawaii, exclamation point, and spend three weeks working for Dr. Quigley Kim, an entomologist who needs someone to help her do field work on the big island. One of Dad's friends saw the saw the want ad she ran in his alumni newsletter and thought of me. I won't get paid, naturally, and I'm not exactly sure what someone who studies insects means by field work. But I do get a free plane ticket, and I'll be working outdoors in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Is there another page? I can't tell. Yeah, there is. The only thing that kind of worries me instead of meeting me at the airport, Dr. Kim wants me to take a bus to this little town on the southern coast of the Big Island. I'm supposed to pick up the keys to the vehicle she'll leave for me there from someone named Big Island Mike at Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion Center. What a man. I love him so much. Which means I'll have to drive to her field camp, which is deep in the rainforest, by myself. But it's not like I'm going anywhere dangerous. I'll be in a tropical paradise. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Does Nancy end every single letter with what could possibly go wrong because she says that so many times and everything goes wrong. I have noticed this. Oh boy. Otherwise, I think it's time to get into it. I think I'll do Senior Detective. I can't think of anything that's going to be so brutal, you know, besides the frass puzzle. So, uh, I mean, I'm probably going to be using spoilers anyhow, just so I don't get stumped for ages. Would I like to start the game? Yes, I would. And let's go Senior. I'll let this opening cutscene play. Quickly, Kim's first game. Remember how much this cutscene scared me the first time I played this as like an 11 year old. an absurd cutscene when you later on figure out what's actually happening here. <laughs> but I still think it's a lot of fun. Alrighty. Here we are. Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion, and we're in the game, everyone. Today I'm just playing for fun, uh, if you're joining the stream late. I'm just uh, looking to relax, get some of these cheesy, fun, nostalgic summer vacation Hawaii vibes. I've never been to Hawaii in, in real life, but God, does this game make me want to go. Can we get some shave ice before we go? Do we Looks have any like money? Need some kind of special money for this. I barely have any real money. That's too bad. You'd better believe we're gonna just gorge ourselves on shave ice this stream. Looks like Nancy's got a lot of lines here at the beginning that you don't actually have to explore. I probably shouldn't go touching anything in here without permission. I'll probably do a lot of phone contacts in this game, too. I don't remember any of the phone calls from this one. Case file still. 
Turn fishes into riches when you try it and trade it. Try it and trade it. God bless. Okay. Um, are Frank and Joe already on the beach if I go there before I talk to Big Island Mike? I don't know. A little surfer shack. Too bad it's closed. Whoever runs it is probably off surfing. I'm curious, what happens if I call Ned before he calls me? I'm gonna give that a try. Oh, he's on the phone with someone? Busy signal? Damn, Ned, who you talking to? Okay, then. I don't need him. Hello? So, did you arrive okay? Ned, hi! Oh, perfect Hey, Ned, timing. thanks for picking up my call here. a minute ago. In fact, I'm on the beach. The bug doctor's on the beach? No, I still haven't picked up the key she left for me. I'm kind of goofing off. Well, I wish I could be there with you. Believe me, it's done nothing but oh, rain nonstop off. since I dropped you off at the airport. The sky's just this constant shade of gray. It'd be depressing even with you here. But with you not here, it's... Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this, but Frank and Joe Hardy are here. How convenient. What? <laughs> are, are you sure? That terrified Positive. Ned. Hey, listen, I'll call you later, okay? But... Bye. Nancy? What are you doing here? Oh, yep. I just got here. I'm going to be helping this entomologist Dad heard about do field work for the next two weeks. What are you guys doing here? We got here yesterday. Believe it or not, we're on assignment. Joe, keep it down. Richard Aikens, the CEO of Aikens Biotech, he hired us to do kind of a background check on Pua Mapu and her father, Mike Mapu. She's an up-and-coming world-class surfer. He runs a local business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions. Yeah, okay. we found it. I'm supposed to pick up a car at Big Island Mike's. What does this Aikens guy need a They really did the Hardy Boys for? dirty in He's this game. About using yeah, Pula a in bit. The ad campaign for one of his products. He wants to make sure there aren't any skeletons in either of the Mapu's closets before he makes her an offer. Since she teaches surfing for her dad, we signed up for one of his immersion excursions so we could get to know her and make sure she's as squeaky clean as she seems. Aikens figured someone who was closer to her own age could find out a lot more than some private investigator. So, you were basically hired to vacation in Hawaii and learn how to surf. Is that what you're saying? Don't worry. As soon as the opportunity presents itself, we'll be doing some hardcore snooping, too. Yeah. Aikens wants us to make sure Mapu's business is also squeaky clean. But the guy never leaves his office, which so far has made rummaging through his paperwork impossible. So, you're doing fieldwork for an entomologist? Yep. Just me and Dr. Kim and a couple thousand of her closest insect-type friends. Out there in the jungle. Well, watch out for Kane Okala. Oh, Here we Joe. go again, Joe. Watch out for who? Kane Okala. That's Hawaiian for rough-skinned man. He's this legendary guy who got half burned up in a volcano a millennium or two ago, and now whenever something really bad happens on the island, people start saying they've seen him in the jungle. He doesn't like people messing with his island, see? So he goes on these rampages. Apparently, his temper is as nasty as his complexion. And there have been a lot of sightings lately. Probably because of the pineapples. What's wrong with the pineapples? The pineapples have been growing so Just dumping the entire the plot right now. People say there may not even be a local crop. Frass hype, Chromie, get out why. of here. Although I'm willing to bet this Kane Okala guy could. Joe. If he really existed, which of course he does not. Happy, Frank? Well, I better get going. Good luck, you guys. I have my cell phone, so keep in touch. You too. In fact, if there's anything you need out there food, toiletries, monster repellent, call us anytime, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. See you, Nance. I mean, I could appreciate the Hardy Boys graphics in this game, considering, you know, the era that this game came out in. I can't just keep walking down the beach. I need to pick up those car keys from Big Island Mike but, and go meet Dr. Kim. But they they did look less goofy in game 13, so I, I'll give it that. I don't know. I, I think it's Frank uh, Frank's muscle shirt that just puts me off, honestly. It's like too skin tight. So much exposition all at once. Eowyn Harwell says that cutscene at the beginning was in my nightmares as a kid. Oh, I, I mean, I totally feel you. It's, it's slightly ridiculous when you find out what it was. <laughs> but before then, it's like a very strange start to a Nancy Drew game. Can Nancy go fishing? I wish I had time to fish, no. but I don't. Come on, Nancy. Just a couple casts. Fine. All right. I guess we should stop putting it off and go have a chat with good old Big Island Mike himself. Honestly, he is one of my favorite suspects ever. Just off the bus, huh? If you're looking for a real deal Hawaiian vacation, you got off at the right spot. 
Let's ask about his his pe his pitch. <laughs> What's a real deal Hawaiian vacation? You sign up with Big Island Mike, you'll live like a real Hawaiian. Work like they work, play like they play. No tourist stuff. From me, you get authentic. Oh, this is cool dialogue. I um I don't think you get this unless you talk to the Hardy Boys first. As a matter of fact, I ran into a couple of customers of yours on the beach. Oh, the two boys from the mainland. Oh yeah, they're having a great time. See, I'm like a tailor. That's cool. Only I don't make clothes, I make vacations. Real, honest to goodness, Hawaiian vacations. <laughs> Mike is so dreamy, chromey. That's strike just two. Just you and you alone. You like the beach? I'll get you to the beach, but I'll also keep you busy. Busy doing things real Hawaiians have done for a thousand years. And you'll have a good time doing it, I'll make sure. In fact, I've got a couple of guys staying here about your age. Yes, we know. They're from the mainland, too. We already talked about this. I've got those boys surfing, <laughs> shelling, fishing, snorkeling, everything. You sign up, you'll do everything, too. Maybe even at the same time as them. That's kind of funny that they kept that line in after we already told them that, yes, we've met the boys. Uh, interesting, but I'm here for the car keys. Sounds interesting, but I'm just here to pick up some car keys. My name's Nancy Drew. Oh, you're the wahine who's going to be working up there in the rainforest with Dr. Kim studying bugs. Wahine. You're going to have to pick them up and put them in jars and stuff. Uh, hope so. Well, I hope so. I think bugs are really interesting. Bug collecting. Better to be working for Dr. Kim than up at the Healy Healy. That doctor there, he makes people mess with stuff way worse than bugs. Do tell me more about this Healy Healy. What's the Healy Healy? The Healy Healy Research Center. Everything up there is a big mystery. People who work at Healy Healy, they never stay long. And when they leave, they don't talk. Because they all die. Be that as it may, I'm supposed to get a key from you? Dr. Yeah. Kim arranged for you to use one of my rigs. Got the key right here, but know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. Oh, that's right, he makes us make us a necklace. I completely forgot. You're not? A big island, Mike. Immersion excursion beats chasing bugs around the jungle hey, sure, welcome to the stream. And to prove it, I'm not gonna give you the key until you go to the beach, collect some shells, and make a necklace for me. You can put the shells you find in here. Make me an aloha necklace. There's a picture of it over at the necklace making table. Sweet. But I I really think I should go meet Dr. Kim like I'm supposed to. No, Nancy, let's do some vacation stuff. I give you the key. Only you know what? You're not gonna want it anymore. You're gonna walk on the beach, look for shells, sit and string them. You're gonna get so relaxed, you're gonna come back in here and say, You were right, Big Island Mike. Forget the bug doctor. Sign me up. You'll see. <laughs> All right. Man, there's so many weird arcade games in here that I feel like you never even use. I can't even interact with this, can I? Okay, I'll come back to read some of that stuff later when I'm playing as Frank and Joe. The Wiki Tiki game. Isn't this literally just rock, paper, scissors, but you have to pay to play it? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh boy, more exposition. Kotaloo, it's sexy. It sure is, buddy. God. Cool tiki masks. I don't know if there are any Easter eggs in this game. If there are, I can't think of what they are. Anyone in chat know? Does this game have any Easter eggs? Like, uh, physical ones you can get into your inventory? Ah, here we go. So, what shells do I need? Just the alternating white and brown ones. I should become, like, Billionaire of Big Island Bucks this game. I think that'd be fun. Okay. This one. What did we need? Four of each, I think. Maybe three of each. Just there. That's a cool shell. I don't even think we need that one. I'm pretty sure that the shell spawns change as the game progresses. So, like, right now I can only find low tier shells. Uh, I have a song on the Easter egg. Oh, you have a. What's that say? A O N G story on the Easter eggs. There's no document of Easter eggs in this game. There's an actual egg planned for the game, inventory images in the game files, but due to time it was cut from the game. Interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, story we told in the chat, by the way, is uh, Kalina Herman, if you guys don't know. She's She was uh, her interactive keep developer. Walking already. down the beach, I need to collect shells so I can get those keys from Big Island Mike. Good to see you in chat, Kalina. 
Always fun to have a her interactive celebrity. Okay, so how many shells are we sitting at now? Oh, wow. Five and six? The game must be, like, multiplying them for me. That's generous. That's probably enough. Okay. Say goodbye to the last one thing you're gonna do for a long time, Nancy, because we're going to the jungle. Wow, there are so many different kinds of shells. I want to get them all this game. Okay. A bottom. So... Oh, I don't actually have the thing that goes at the bottom. Crap, I should probably go back and find that. Hey, it looks like the Discord's starting to show up. Kimmy, I see you. Okay, uh, let's see if the shell spawns came back. God, the soundtrack in this game just does such a good job of being so peaceful. There's the centerpiece we need. Oh, and by the way, uh, I forgot to mention, Julian is currently on a camping trip in uh, Pennsylvania with his, with his roommate. And last night, they got attacked by bobcats that were, like, all around their tent and, like, doing their creepy-ass bobcat screaming noises. I'll, uh, I'll play the, the video he sent into the mic, or maybe I'll send it to the Discord later. I mean, th there's no video, because it's the pitch black at night, but you can just hear bobcats screaming, and it's terrifying. They sound like freaking cryptids. Is that you, Amber? Amber's here, too? Yeah. Getting the full house up in here. Okay, I think I have everything I need now. So there's the centerpiece. And then, I'm gonna go... White. Yeah, okay, this should be enough. So we needed six of each after all. Honestly, I might do this game in two streams. Um, two good long streams should be fun. So, uh, same pattern goes over here. I, d I definitely want to take my time with it because I'm tired of having to speed through games, speed running them, or commentating and stuff like that. When you don't have to edit, there's just so much there. more time to mess around. Beautiful. I'll just give this to Mr. Mapu and be on my way. A ghost dog's attack. Oh yeah, that's what happened with Julian, was the, the ghost cats of Pennsylvania. But ghost dogs and where he's camping are both in Pennsylvania. Although I think he's down by Punxsutawney, I'm not sure. Hey, you big island. The necklace. If you could give the extra shells I collected to those two guys from the mainland, that'd be great. May I keep the necklace I made? Sorry, my idea, Ooh. my necklace. But the rig key is yours. Thank, Thank you. Hey! One more thing. Oh, come on! Oh, uh, that's right, the rough skinned guy. That rough skinned guy? What about him? Just my, just my dad. Healy Healy. They're doing something that Kane Okala doesn't like. That's why he's back. The people that say he's just a legend don't believe them. Kane Okala's probably just Dexter Egan. Just prowling around trying to fix some radiators on the big island. I'll remember that, really. Hope I don't regret this. I can, I can totally understand how you would mistake mistake Dexter Egan for uh, a centuries old uh, man who was burnt alive in a volcano. The rig's out front. Got a GPS system and everything. The location of Dr. Kim's camp's already programmed in. Uh, let's ask him about the pineapple crop. I want to see what his cover story is. I heard that something weird seems to be going on with the pineapple crop this year. What have you heard about it? It's the Healy Healy. Whatever they're doing up there, it's gonna end up ruining the pineapple fields. The newspapers know the truth. They're just too afraid of the Healy Healy lawyers to write the truth. Ooh, the Healy Healy. Healy Healy's got uh, Saul Goodman and Kim Wexler on retainer. Well, it was nice meeting you. God. Mahalo. Mahalo, there we go. All right, so take one last look, Nancy, because this is the last time you're going to be here. And this is the best part of the game. <laughs> All right, away we go. Jay Borner, welcome to the stream. What did you say? Uh, don't solely the name of Dexter Egan, says Allison. Okay, okay, I'll back off. Uh, I may not be a fan of a fan favorite of this game. This game may not be a fan favorite, but I enjoy the summer feeling for this title. Quigley Kim's voice acting is so funny too. Love it. Quigley Kim simultaneously drives me crazy, and like also is the best part of this game. If you ask me, <laughs> she's so much fun. Hey, I'm curious. I wonder if I could put in some of the coordinates for like the volcano and stuff right now. That might be a cool skip or something. Doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead. Uh, camp quickly. Oh, and Kalina says that the names of the centerpiece shells are explained in the kiosk in the hut. I'll have to go read up on that when we go back to Frank and Jim. 
the mop and just top 15 worst suspects ever. Excuse me real quick, there is a bridge getting blown out. <laughs> the voice actor for Big Mike lives a few streets up from me. Yeah, good Joe, you mentioned that before, I think. Dr. Kim will be able to help me get it out. If you ever see him again, uh -oh. tell him how much Sounds I appreciate like I him. To call. You have reached Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. I love the Hi, bridge Nancy crashing, Joe. yeah. Listen, Big Island Mike heard on the radio that the bridge on the road leading to that bug lady's camp just washed out. So I hope you get this message before you get to her place. Because if you've already crossed the bridge, it sounds like you won't be able to get back into town for a couple of days. No. In any case, <laughs> Be careful, and again, if there's anything Frank or I can do, just holler. Take care. So, on top of being stuck in a ditch, I'm stranded in the jungle. Well, at least I'm not alone. I mean, I won't be when I find Dr. Kim. Oh my gosh, this place is a mess. Oh my. What happened? And where's Dr. Kim? Dexter Egan, what have you done? <laughs> okay, well, uh, whole place is ransacked. Wonder how that happened. A winch. Astute observation, Nancy. Schoiler says, my favorite part of this game is the ending with all the booby traps. I love that so much, too. It's honestly might be one of my favorite game endings just because of all the new ex exploration you get to do. It's It just feels like every Indiana Jones movie balled up into one big layer of booby traps. 19 viewers now. How about that? Okay, this puzzle always kind of confused me because I am terrible at understanding how the winch works. Basically, the truck is in a ditch, and we can't get it out until we winch it. Okay, so let's finally get back into the puzzle zone. A tape recorder. There's a tape in it. Looks like it needs to be rewound. Guess we ought to do that. Oh, this is all the Quigley Kim lore, isn't it? Oh, I love these tapes. It's a great way of introducing a character before I'm she's on screen. Kim, and this is an oral record of my activities on the Big Island. I'll let Beginning these play for a couple today, minutes. March 11th. Hopefully, I'll remember to use this thing every day, but I much prefer writing things down. And frankly, I don't care much for hearing myself on tape. It makes me sound very nasal for some strange reason. Unheard of. Course, of. this whole recording thing was my father's idea. I mean, just because he always kept an oral journal when he was in the field, he automatically assumed I'd want to, too. So he practically forced me to... <sighs> Too bad there wasn't a library well, to destroy in Dr. Kim's thing. camp. When I start digressing, I can just push this button and... Already, I'm forgetting to use this thing. Okay, now it's March 15th. My camp's all set up and my equipment's all ready to go. So tomorrow, I'm going to start rigging frass traps. I probably should have started doing that today, but I spent the whole morning observing a colony of feral bees. Man, I hope somebody answers the ad my mentor placed in that newsletter. If she could get me an assistant, I could spend the whole day observing whatever insect I want. Oh, would that be cool or what? There's no pausing this, is there? What? No, I can pause it. Okay, yeah, so I'll just pause that for a second, because uh, I think we'll have a little look around before we continue that tape. I just don't want to bombard people with just non-stop audio recordings. Uh, Shortleville asks, what ND game do you think is the easiest? Give me a second to think about that, because there's like... I could say a game that like lets you have all the Dr. solutions. Kim, are you here? Hello? Like when Hint Hotline Anybody was a here? thing? Dr. Kim? She's gone. I've got a bad feeling about this. But at the same time, like, you're not supposed to play an Nancy Drew game going through all the spoilers and stuff. So if I was to decide the easiest game based off of playing through it blind, I might say something like Haunted Carousel. Okay, I, I'll probably need a second to think about that. Uh, Last Train also strikes me as a pretty straightforward game. It's very linear and it's difficult to get stumped. And that's not to say that it's a bad game. I love Last Train. I think it's it's a great adventure. But um, it's definitely a, a very straightforward game too. I don't think on my first time playing Last Train, I ever had any moments where I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? It just kept on going and going. Wonder what this thing does. And it does have some pretty challenging puzzles too, like in the doll one. The doll one is, is such a good design puzzle. I love that. Must be Dr. Kim's notes. Whew, looks like Greek to me. Pardon if you can hear the sound of a chainsaw cutting through cement outside. There's a man cutting through our driveway with a chainsaw in order to lay down some electrical for our new garage. So hoo hoo that's oh, not coming through. Yoo hoo anybody there? Yoo hoo yoo hoo yoo hoo Final scene, I could see that being the easiest too. Man, I always forget because um 
yeah, that, that, is, that is a really straightforward game. I'd say Final Scene, Haunted Carousel, and Last Train probably have the claim to be the simplest and easiest games. Because Final Scene might be the shortest game, you know, apart from, like, Secrets Can Kill, which you could beat in, like, ten minutes if you wanted. Good Joe, that one too. Yeah, Final Scene's pretty straightforward. Tell the Chainsaw Guy I say hello. Kaylee, I see you have found the stream. You are supposed to leave before you find any spoilers, because we have not played this game yet. This is game 15, so you're kind of getting close to it. Nancy, welcome. <laughs> Use this radio to call me at the Hi this friends, frequency. welcome Jamie. The other Jamie. QK. Okay, uh, use this radio to call me frequency 18.305. Let's give it a call. Let's give it a try. Uh, does this thing work? The radio doesn't have any power. Well, you're gonna have to plug it in then, Nancy. Oh, no, there's a generator here, isn't there? Is that what's going on? It's been so long since I've done this. Um... The blee blah blee box. I love this Interesting thing. Lock. Oh, this looks great. Blah. Blow, flu, flee. God. Imagine if on Senior Detective it didn't have subtitles and you had to do that whole thing by ear. And there we go, we just hit 20 viewers. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna have to have another listen to this tape recording. I'll go ahead and pick up where we left off. March 19th. This has never happened to me before. Okay, Ever. Kaylee, you can but watch while you do your nails. Chasing traps in the jungle today. I got the weirdest feeling that I was being watched. I mean, it was broad daylight, and I didn't see anybody or hear anything. But I just suddenly got this creepy feeling that I wasn't alone. Then, after about three minutes, it went away. I, you know, it was just weird. SCP Quigley Kim has escaped containment. <laughs> It's March 24th. For the past two days now, I've heard this very odd humming sound coming from way deep in the jungle. Okay, to be honest, it sounds more like whispering. One minute it's there, next minute it's gone. And I have no idea what's causing it. I don't even have a theory as to what's causing it. Zoix. It's March 28th. Great news. Actually, I'm just going to take a picture of that. <laughs> I just got done with my initial frass jar content analysis, and it looks like something really strange is going on with the Norsa Beta Odorata larvae around here. Once I run these numbers through my formula machine, which I'm retrieving from my trunk, even as I speak. Such a fun once puzzle. I run these numbers, I'll know for sure. And I'm getting an assistant. Somebody named Nancy Drew Ooh. has agreed to fly out here for a couple of weeks Ooh, and em. work for me. Which means I'm on the verge of fame, fortune, and free labor. Woohoo! Is life good or what? There you go, quickly. Ooh. Dexter Egan, are you okay? <laughs> Dexter looking for Ezra's secret study. <laughs> the tape ran out. And there you have what it. What was that? I sure hope Dr. Kim is okay. Oh, she's just fine, Nancy. Don't worry about it. Let's see. So, uh, we gotta get that chest open in order. Does that help us get the radio on? I forget. We need the solar to display, I think, in order to get the winch going. No, it's the solar panel to get the radio going, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so forgetful, I haven't done this, this sequence in a long time. So, we're gonna want to do this box first, I think. Uh, okay. Let me pull up my picture I took. That's below in the middle. Let's see... The sequence is blee, blah, 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 blue. Okay. That's blah, blah, blee, blee. Blow is never used, so we're not going to touch this one. That, okay, blee, the bottom right is the first one. Okay, and then it's, it's blee, blah, blee. Then blah. Blah, 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 blue. Okay, so blee, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah. I can feel my brain cells dying. <laughs> blah, blah, blue, blah. Oh, we did it. Okay. I have expected to get that wrong. Quigley Kim. Malachi Herbert Craven. Uh, 182. IQ 42. Those are some big digits, man. 
high school yearbook called him least likely to ever play well with others. <laughs> well, that's uh, quite a legacy to leave behind, Mr. Craven. Uh, maintains blog at imagenius.net. Why did she, like, underscore it? Or maybe she's supposed to? I don't know. I am a genius. That's what it's supposed to be. God, I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, on a faculty at Iowa College for two years, colleagues detested him. Reputed IQ of 182, doctorate in horticulture from Cornell, specialized in chemically induced plant mutations. Some spooky X-Men stuff going on here. Solar power. Solar power. Oh, he's from Ohio. Represent Dr. Craven. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, I've probably mentioned it dozens of times, but I'm in Ohio too, just right off of Lake Erie. Uh, born Sharpton County, Ohio, August 18th, 1943. Involved in private research at Worldwide Agrochem, Moby Tech, Vivichem. Calls solar power the only hope for the Earth's future. Nah, bro, go nuclear. Won't work anywhere that isn't at least 50% solar powered. Uh, works at Healy Healy Research Center, but current employer is unknown. Uh, 2003, thrown out of World Conference on Biotechnologies in Geneva for calling co-presenters hopelessly deluded morons. Yeah, his high school yearbook, yearbook knew a thing, I gotta say that. <laughs> Wrote article, How Peer Jealousy is Destroying Research Science for December 2005, issue Journal of Health and Horticulture, and then the notes unfinished. What's this? Area code 312. Chicago, maybe? Money. Mr. Money Signs, 312-555-9634. Let's give that number a call. Uh, oh, I remember this. This is um, some of Nancy's worst detective work ever. <laughs> LifeWorks Biochem? Dr. Kim, you're finally calling? LifeWorks Biochem. Uh, God, should we impersonate quickly, Kim? Let's do it. Uh, yes, I am finally calling. What's wrong with your nose? You sound so... <laughs> the shaded quigley. Uh, somebody said the same. I've been taking antihistamines. Oh, well, I've been taking antihistamines. How did you get this number? Well, you see, I... Hello? Hello? Bob Loblaw's law blog. Joey Hill, you know it. Oh, uh, God, they've got Barry Zuckercorn representing uh, okay. Aiken's what Biotech. Okay, have in this trunk? Ooh, a key card. A security pass for the Healy Healy Research Center. Maybe someone there knows where Dr. Kim is. Victoria, welcome. Solar power, SMH, is he a Lord fan? Kaylee, can you please just go back to panning your nails? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm curious. That was Life Tech Biochem that we just called, wasn't it? Was that mentioned in here? Agrochem, Vivichem. Vive is like, what, some language for life, isn't it? Maybe Vivichem is code for it? I don't know. I want to understand the importance of Life Tech being mentioned there. Okay. Well, uh, let's go meet Mr. Homegrown Ohio Solar Power Toting Represent Man. Oh, we gotta winch this car out of here first, don't we? Until I get this thing out of the ditch. Okay, wasn't there a grappling hook in there? Did I not take that with me? Ah, oh, damn it, okay. It was this, 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 double tap, double tap, and then that. Okay. Why didn't I take that the first time? God. Okay, is there definitively nothing else now? Okay, I think we're good. So, we're gonna winch the car. That's a nice cooking fire she's got. Somehow, I've gotta get this thing out of that ditch. Yes, what do you think I'm trying to do, I Nancy? I can't go anywhere until I get this thing out of the ditch. Nancy, chill. Okay, that's... Okay, first we need to, uh... Bring this down. Oh, my stream feed died. Give me a second to pull that back up. Okay. Where did the uh, thing land? I'm always so bad at seeing it. It's like, there it is. It's kind of camouflaged. So now we have the winch, and we're going to carry it over here and rip the handlebar right off of our Jeep. Best thing about this game is the fun UI choices, let's be real. You're absolutely right, Victoria. So right so that I'm gonna go ahead and change there. it up. It's out of the ditch. Okay, uh, give me a second. Sorry, music. You're gonna have to get paused for a second. Testing. Okay. One, uh, let's go with that teal Hawaiian hibiscus for now. Testing. One, two. 
continue. Does this change our backpack? I think it does. Yeah, I think that each interface is for Frank, Joe, or Nancy. That's cool. Okay, well, we got the car now. Okay. So let's go talk to the Healy Healy and see if they know anything. Personnel. Looks like Area 51 in there. Hey there. Can I just swipe the keycard? Alright, lady. Hold it right there. Oh. Probably shouldn't have done that. Who are you? Why <laughs> did you get that pass? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I normally just buzz for assistance. I didn't know that they would just go full DEFCON 5 if I slid the pass. Uh, tell me who you are. I'd rather not say until you tell me who you are. I'm Malachi Craven, of course. I'm the head of this facility. Now, what were you doing with that pass? Ohio's legacy right here. I found it. Where? Next to the Paul brothers. Oh, yeah, where? Um, if I tell him it's Kim's camp, he's probably going to get really sus about Kim. I'm just going to say no need to shout. There's no need to shout, okay? I mean, you don't even know who I am. All right, then. Who are you? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm Dr. Kim's temporary research assistant. Today's my first day. I have that pass because when I arrived, Dr. Kim's base camp was all torn up and oh, I so couldn't ride find her anywhere. anywhere. So I went searching through her stuff for something that might tell me where she is. I thought that since she had that pass, someone here could tell me where she is. Well, you thought wrong. And for your information, that pass was reported missing. She probably stole it weeks ago. You think Dr. Kim stole it? You think Dr. Kim stole it? Oh, use your brain! This is a private research facility with highly restricted access. Ooh. Of course she stole it. All right, that's enough. Excuse me? Oh, Nancy Sassenbeck. You're back. jumping all over me when the only thing I did to you was tell you the truth. I know who you are, Dr. Craven. I know you're an incredibly gifted scientist whose work has never been fully appreciated. In fact, as an amateur horticulturist, I would give anything to know what you're doing with the plants in here. But being a genius does not give you the right to be rude. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady. Everything you just said is quite correct. The genius part rings particularly true. <laughs> How do you know about me? Your blog is awesome. Internet, mostly. Your blog is awesome. Uh, that's true, too. <laughs> if you're interested in horticulture, why are you assisting an entomologist? Friend of a friend. She's the friend of a friend of a friend, that sort of thing. And when I heard there was a free round trip ticket to Hawaii involved. Smart girl. <laughs> Still need to find Dr. Kim. Any chance you give me a tour of this place? Probably not. I'm not even going to bother asking that yet. Uh, have you met Dr. Kim? Have you ever met Dr. Kim? Possibly. I don't honestly remember. From what I've read about her research, I have no real desire to meet her, quite frankly. What makes you think she stole the pass? What makes you think Dr. Kim stole that security pass? I, uh, that was just my temper talking. I obviously have no reason to suspect the good doctor of any criminal activity whatsoever. Mm, yes, the good doctor. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we still gotta find Kim. I still need to find Dr. Kim, so I'd better go. Marvelous idea. Oh, crap, I never looked at the solar powers. Solar panels, did I? Can't did check that out now. Well, hey, now we're in the Healy Healy. Just free room of the facility floor. Uh, this place always looks so weird. That looks like the weird green gel that was in my ant farm I had when I was a kid. Let's see. Looks like I need a special key. We do not have a special key. I love how his volume is always at 100. Dr. Craven gets points for consistency. Victoria, you're absolutely right. Well, uh, okay, I guess we gotta get back to the camp anyhow. Okay, so Big Island Mike's is way down here in relation to everything else. That's interesting. Hmm. So, don't have any more coordinates yet. I'm just gonna go back to camp quickly then. Alright, we're gonna switch back over to the Hardy Boys soon, because I can only stomach so much Camp Quigley. Nancy business. Okay, uh, the solar panel. Did we ever look at this? A solar panel? No, we didn't. Looks like this is what powers the radio. Hmm, some of the photovoltaic cells are missing. 
Don't those things cost like tens of thousands of dollars to replace? Coralmeister navigating technology. Okay, now we'll go right back to the Healy Healy. Um, do I still have the pass? No, I don't. It'd be funny if I could buzz it again. State your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Yeah, I was just Dr. here a minute Craven ago. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me. Really, just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young <laughs> lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in just for a few minutes? Just here to shake him down for some solar cells. Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Philadelphia. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father... My brother and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to see her anymore. Anyway, what can I do for you? God, that's so sad, the way he says that. Um, well, anyways, uh, I've, I've just, I was thinking a minute ago, I feel like it's implied that a suspect in another game might be his niece, and I'm trying to think of who that would be. Right now, Debbie from Trail of the Twister seems to fit the bill, but let me know what you guys think, if anyone has any better suggestions, or if anyone knows. I might just be an idiot about this whole thing. I'm in desperate need of some photovoltaic cells so I can repair a solar panel back at camp. And I know you're a big proponent of solar energy, so could you by any chance spare me, say, <laughs> nine cells? Tell you what, I'll give you all the cells you need after you harvest at least a dozen seeds from those plants down there. Oh, they yeah. represent an extremely promising cultivar that I've hybridized. Unfortunately, I've developed some kind of allergy to them, so that just being in the same room with them has me scratching like a dog at a flea circus. My getting seeds from them is out of the question, but since you're here... You can do it. Sure, Just I can. Just pick a few pods, pop them open, and put only viable seeds into the container. To know what I mean by viable, just read the notes that I left down there. No problem. Good. Bring me 12 viable seeds, and those cells are yours. This is basically as easy as puzzles ever get. Literally just pick up something and bring it to me. And yes, Shoyleville, Michael is the president of the English club. That is absolutely correct. Definitely the most interesting character in this game. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, those are all bad seeds. Those are two good seeds. These things always look like caramel chocolate candies to me. That made me want to eat them when I was younger. Which would probably not be good. It's like I can just click anywhere and they just keep on coming back. It doesn't matter where I click. There, nope. 12 that, viable seeds, I hope. that was not a viable seed, that last one I clicked. Nancy. I've picked enough pods for a while. No, he's gonna be pissed at us, Nancy. Damn it. Well, does that look like a viable seed to you, Nancy? Just let me put it back. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to make him pissed at me. I like Craven. Excuse me, wait, is this a 45 degree angle ramp? It is. I thought this was a staircase. How the hell do people climb this shit? How does he, how does he do that? Finished? Okay. God, he's gonna be so disappointed in me. Finished. No, 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 you do not have 12 viable seeds in yes, here. Yes, I have 11. Now go back and do it right. Is he gonna make me redo all of them? He is, oh my god. What did he do to the other 11 seeds? Oh, uh, Craven, I'm so sorry. This might be a speedrun killer, honestly, now that I think about it, if you click the wrong seed. Nothing. Oh, I almost clicked the wrong one again. There, 12 okay. viable seeds. That should be good this time. <laughs> Craven ate them. I'm sure he did, because he's got that deathly allergy. We're just gonna go up there and he's gonna be comatose. Finished? 
Yeah, here we go. Finished. Very good. These will do just fine. And so, as I promised, instruct Olsen to put a box of A3 photovoltaic cells into Miss Drew's vehicle as soon as possible. Right away, Dr. Craven. Mm, yes. Unfortunately, even after I've destroyed those little green devils, I'm told it'll be some time before this itching stops. Yes, thank you very much for picking those seeds out of those pods for me. I'll give you $4,000 worth of photovoltaic sales and replacement. <laughs> I've heard that bathing in oatmeal and baking soda helps relieve itching. I was prescribed an antihistamine, but I'm afraid taking it will make me too sleepy to get any work done. <laughs> Alright, let's shoot our shot. Can we get a tour? Any chance you could give me a tour of this place? None whatsoever. This is a private facility. I'm under no obligation to put my work on display or explain what I'm doing to anyone, except my employer, of course. Tell me who it is. Who's that? He'd rather I not say. You will tell me Look your employer's here, name. You're obviously familiar with me and my previous accomplishments, so I know how exciting all this must be for you, but I'm simply not at liberty to discuss my current project, though it is truly spectacular. Sorry. I feel sorry. I feel bad that he's an easy target for Galen Mike, even though he's really not so bad. Yeah, I feel you, Schoiler. Guess I'd better go look for Dr. Kim. By all means, farewell. Okay. I think we're gonna step down to the floor and call Frank and Joe, because I'm ready to get back on the beach. Oh, we should probably call him that, too. There's no best in George in this game, is there? Hello? Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Well, after I finally got Big Island Mike to give me the keys to the car Dr. Kim had arranged for me, I started driving. Oh, the fade out. So not only did someone tear up her camp, but she's missing? Whoa. So what have you been doing? Frank's out trying to surf, and I'm still waiting for a chance to do some snooping around Big Island Mike's desk. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. Well, hey, if I can do anything for you, you just let me know. I will. Thanks. Talk to you later. Wait, Schoiler, what's that? Uh, you can soft lock the game if you get the plant killing death, but then back away while he's scolding you. There's a plant killing death in this game? I had no idea. If I brought him like the wrong seats twice in a row, he would just throw me out. Interesting. Oh, look at this wooden Hardy Boy HUD. I love the I love the wood grain. We have zero Big Island dollars. That's too bad. Hey, what's up? Uh, let's try it and trade it. Think you could explain this try it and trade it system of yours again? Real simple. Over at the necklace making table, there's pictures of the different necklaces you can make out of shells, okay? You collect shells, you make something, you turn it in, you get whatever the picture says it's worth in Big Island bucks. You get enough Big Island bucks, you can buy some fishing gear and bait. You go fishing, you catch something, you turn it in, you get paid what it's worth. The better the bait you buy, the bigger the fish you catch, and the more Big Island bucks you get. Nice. The more Big Island bucks you get, the more stuff you can do in here. You see? A never-ending circle of fun. Everybody wins. <laughs> Except he gets to have everything. Well, hey, when can I start? You can put the shells you find in here. We know the drill. Whenever you're ready to turn something in, necklace, fish, whatever, go see Pua, not me. She's in charge of doling out the Big Island bucks. Oh, Pua, that's right. Completely forgot about her. Uh, let's not start asking him suspicious questions just yet. Well, better get going. Paradise awaits. Later. I don't know which Hardy Boy I love. Oh! Whoa, earthquake. <laughs> Forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Took me off guard. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know which Hardy Boy I like more, honestly. I feel like Joe is definitely cut out to be the less serious Hardy Boy, which makes him feel like less of a character, to be honest. Because he's more of, like, comic relief, and then Frank is, like, the one who's, I guess, implied to be a love interest of Nancy's. I don't know. Ned does not deserve Nancy. Or Nancy does not deserve Ned. Let's see. Another tender piece. Uh, let's see. Looks like the higher caliber seashells have not spawned in yet. How many do I have? My cat is opening my door over and over and it's creaking so bad. Okay, that one's to hold the necklaces. This one's to hold parts. And looks like I do not have enough yet. 
Uh, I know. Let's go up and meet Pua. And then maybe some more will wash up shore. Hey, Joe. Ready for another lesson? Still recovering. Still recovering from the last one. <laughs> you did swallow it was a Twinkie, lot of water Kayla. out there. Uh, Frank swallowed a lot of water the first couple times you took him out, right? Well, I'm sure Frank swallowed a lot of water the first couple of times you took him out, right? Actually, Frank's doing okay. Oh, okay, he then. He hasn't come Screw off his board then. once. Of course, that might change when he actually stands up on it. Ooh. Frank hasn't stood up yet? Oops, I probably shouldn't have said that. Look, how about we change the subject? Feel the earthquake? You feel the earthquake? Yeah, wasn't that great? Have you ever seen Miss Scarlet in the Studies Nud Perspective video? I don't think I have, no. Yeah, that was a cool earthquake. I'm totally cool. You can sure, it me. was a blast. If you don't count the sheer terror part. I love earthquakes. It's like standing up on a big, huge roller coaster. What about tsunamis? You're not afraid of tsunamis? Me? Afraid of big waves? Not hardly. Wow. Look, until somebody figures out a way to stop earthquakes, they're gonna happen. So I say, why not enjoy them? Pretty idealistic view of earthquakes. Um... All right, let's ask her a couple things. Are Frank and I your only pupils right now? Pretty much. You guys are the only excursions Dad's got going this week. I coach some local kids, but they've got finals. And how's your dad doing business-wise? How's your dad doing? You know, business-wise. Okay, I guess. I, I mean, we don't live in a mansion or anything, but we got food, we got clothes. Dad gets to show off his island, and I get to surf. As far as I'm concerned, we got everything we need. That's the dream right there. Uh, what else do you do? What else do you like to do besides surf? Nothing. Come on. Oh, come on. You like to ride motorcycles? Go to wild parties? Pig out on shave ice? Tell me. I surf till it gets too dark. I come home, I eat, I go to bed, <laughs> I get up. I surf till I gotta start teaching. I help my dad. That's it. That's my life. Pooh is either like a huge liar or just honestly kind of a simple, boring person. Actually, no, there's nothing boring about surfing. Pua has it all figured out. Joe just has weird expectations. An adrenaline freak like you never does anything wild and crazy. Sure, they're heading out. Thanks for sticking the around, man. I'll ever need out there on my board. Uh, get all the kicks I've needed on my board. That's enough we need to know about now. Catch you later. Cool beans. All right, let's see if those uh seashells have come back yet. Yep, there's a couple more. So I think we gotta start off with just making a simple aloha necklace every time. And then, once we do that, we'll be able to afford some fishing tackle. Oh, what I wanna do is get the snorkel here fast so that I can go diving for more and more seashells. That'll be fun. I'll bet you get, like, an award at the end of the game if you make every single kind of Easter egg. Or every single kind of, uh, necklace. There I go, still subconsciously thinking I'm gonna be the first to find the Kapu Cave Easter egg that doesn't even exist. Okay. Uh, while we wait for them to respawn, how about we have a look at some of those, uh, entries that Kalina talked about. Let's see. Oops, I don't have any big island Oh, bugs. we have to pay to learn about it? Out of luck. Okay, um... Shelling. Please island? insert a big island buck. <laughs> That's amazing voice acting. Please insert a big island buck. Yes, the classic pony awa chest. Can I open that now, actually? I mean, I never forgot the phrase honey awa, because when I worked at an ice cream parlor, I made this like citrus refresher drink that I would always call Honey Awa. So, it's just never going to leave my mind. Where does the apostrophe go, though? Is it the beginning or the end? Maybe it just won't let me open it. Imagine if I could open it right now, though. It's so funny. Okay. Wiki Tiki might be the biggest thing to ever get stuck in my head for excessive amounts of time. Poor thing. Goobin Jetpack, hey, welcome. Hope I didn't miss too much. Nah, you're just in time. Uh, we just got through some of the boring Nancy stuff at the beginning. Met Dr. Craven, and now we're here trying to get some shmoney by getting the seashells off the beach. Good times being had by all. Okay, some more shells. Ooh, that's a cool one. I think that's the hurricane shell, whatever it's called. 
Okay. Is it weird that I also really like fishing in this game? Because, like, I, I get that it's kind of pointless. It's just to make lots and lots of money, but I just genuinely seem to enjoy it for some reason. Like, I could fish for 30 minutes if I wanted to, but I'm not going to subject stream to that. Do I have enough now? Uh, we need some more white ones. Weird. Alright, well, let's go ask Big Island Mike a thing or two. Joe, what are you doing here? You should be out there surfing. Pua says you're a natural. Aw. She does? Oh, come on. She probably says that about all her students. No, she doesn't. WD Massey. Fact, one of my favorites, she definitely. Says about some it's old. So, how'd you like that earthquake? You know that theory about how if you put a monkey in front of a typewriter, it'll eventually type out the Bible? That's you, but with the Capu Cave Easter egg. Shut up, Kaylee. I will find it. <laughs> Frankly, it was kind of scary. Got my heart going, that's for sure. <laughs> Pele must be mad about something. Uh, tell me more about Pele. Pele? Hawaiian goddess of fire. Her home is in Kilauea Volcano. When she's mad, she makes the ground shake. When she's really mad, she sends lava down the mountain to gobble up her enemies. Aw oh, man, Big Island Mike's got me remembering how many people have told me that I need to watch uh, Moana. Who are her enemies? People who do bad things to her island. Or fail to show her the proper respect. Or people she just plain doesn't like. Who knows? Compared to Pele, Kane Okala is a noisy little fly. He's nothing. But enough about Pele. Go, get outside. You're in paradise. Enjoy. Well, then I'll take his word for it. Well, better get going. Paradise awaits. Have fun. <laughs> the island of Paradis. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've never, I never have seen Moana, and like everyone always tells me to, and I'm really tempted to. I, I don't like many new kids movies. I usually just watch like the Golden Age hand-drawn stuff. Not even Golden Age, just all the hand-drawn stuff. But um, if it's got Dwayne Johnson, you've, you're getting pretty close to selling them on it. I gotta admit. There's a couple more uh, white shells. I'm just gonna turn this into Big Island Bucks Tycoon Simulator. Real quick, I want to see if I can't have any more HUD options when I play as Joe. Is it always just the wood grain? Like, let me try the Hawaiian hibiscus. Continue. Nope, guess he's always got the wooden theme. That's cool. Okay. Moana is a wonderful film. If you appreciate beautiful digital animation, you'll enjoy it. All right, Kaylee, how do you feel about watching Moana on the next date? <laughs> I got nothing else to do. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Seems pretty rare, too. It's like a nice clamshell. Oh, hey, that's enough to make an Aloha necklace so we can get started on our uh, big island exchange. Doris, welcome to the stream. Armin voice, <laughs> the sea. <laughs> All right, let's get to work here. Uh, we want this one right here. Oh, I have the wrong thing pulled up. Can I... No, take it off. Uh, how do I scroll through them? Oh, I have to close it first. Hands of Pele, Aloha necklace. Okay, so we want to go white then brown. That's the order. Oh, I gotta put it at the top. I feel like every time I play this game, I always just try to rush through making money, because I like snorkeling. But this time, I want to see if I can't make, like, all the uh, necklaces and just be really extra and do stupid stuff like that. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. So that's going to be worth four big island bucks. Which isn't very much. Oh, wait a second. I just thought of something. Am I even going to be able to... Keep this money once Joe gets the, uh, the thump on his head. Crap. I hope it all transfers to Frank. I hope they have a joint account or something. Hey, what's up? Uh, you're always in here working? Don't you ever get out to enjoy the paradise yourself? You're always in here working. Don't you ever get to get out and enjoy paradise yourself? Well, if somebody'd catch me six Ulua, I'd have an excuse to drive him into the market in Hilo and on the way back do a little body surfing at this great little beach I know. Hmm. Oh, so if we catch some Ulua, he'll be able to do that. I'm game. 
What are Ulua? Big shorefish, real good eating. Just so happens I got their favorite food right here. Well, get ready to take a little time off, big guy, because I am on it. Hey, okay, so Ulua... Okay, Ulua is the most expensive fish, and he says that they like the zippy stuff the most. So... Actually, I should probably trade in that necklace that I made first. Actually, no. I'll keep on... I'll hold on to the necklace, and we will see if, um... It transfers to Frank, because we have to switch over. That'll be a useful experiment. Fishing time. Oh, wow, we shot up to, like, 28 viewers really fast. Just in time for me to fish for the next five minutes. <laughs> this is a nice reel, though. It's like a bait cast, I think. That's a new Lua. Lua down, five to go. Yeah, buddy. God, I wonder what a Lua tastes like. If I ever go to Hawaii, for one thing, I'll send so many pictures to the Discord. And for another thing, I'm going to do nothing but fish all day. I'm very big on fishing. I don't know if I've mentioned that to the channel much, but I know I send fish pictures to the Discord often. I wonder if I get to keep the non Lua's. Big Island Mike is always giving off those creepy uncle vibes. Rachel, maybe to you, but nah, I would I would totally hang out with Big Island Mike. I would come to his immersion excursion. Oh yeah. That's not the right fish we need, Joe. What are you so excited about? Oh, we're talking about Hunchback now? See what you started, Kaylee? Oh, hey, this is fun. I get to fish and I get to play with chat at the same time. Another Alua. Some good fortune today. So yeah, we're not playing this game, like, real efficiently, I guess, because, like, by now I would have probably met quickly Kim and already been tiki in the head by good old Johnny Kudo, but I'm just, I'm just playing to have a good time. I feel like this game always goes by so fast when I play it, so. Once again, we are going for the immersion excursion experience this summer. Gotcha! Uh, that's three Lua now. Only haven't even caught the other two fish. I should, uh, I should look at the terminal in Big Island Mike's to see what those fish are called. I'll bet they have an entry in there about them. Are there rooms here? Where do Frank and Joe sleep? Under the stars, I hope. <laughs> Good question, though. I'll bet they have, like, a cool bungalow somewhere. I played through Crystal Skull and then watched the Princess and the Frog last night. Great Nola vibes. Brigitte, that sounds amazing. I should... God, I gotta start timing up my Nancy Drew games with the movies I watch again, because I used to do that, and I would even, like, make Italian dinners and stuff when I played Phantom of Venice. It just, it gives everything a whole new experience. It's great. Okay, well, we're halfway to our Alu account, at least. I feel like this game did a pretty good job with the ocean graphics. Hey, that's an Alua. I think I catch most of them when I cast to the, when I cast to the right. I wonder if there's like any kind of strategy to this at all. If there is, we will figure it out by the end of the stream. Ooh, that's two in a row. Yeah, maybe the right side is the move. Let's try that again. Come on, here we go. Three for three on Ulua. If we do... Oh, what just happened? Low disk space? I don't care. Go back to Kapu Cave. <laughs> Sorry about that. The Big Island mic life has no time for low disk space.
For real though, I should probably clean up my hard drive later today. <laughs> but so long as it doesn't affect stream, it doesn't bother me. I'll button a loo a bit while we had that pop-up happen. That's the game trying to stop me from finding the secret fishing spot. How close to the shore can I cast? Like here? Oh. Had a frame drop for some reason. Money, there Ruin we number go. Six. That ought to do it. Okay. So, we're supposed to do this, I think, just so we have an opportunity to poke around Big Island like stuff to find out about uh, Tree Trigger Rock. I forget what, it's, what Nancy says it is. Hey, what's up? But we haven't done that yet, so. Hmm. Weird. Hey, let's ask this before we give him the fish. How long have you been in this business? Five years, give or take. Pua's idea. She saw this whole extreme vacation thing coming. I thought she was Pupule, but turns out she was right. We've been making money since day one. My daughter is one smart wahine. She keep her... Hmm. Oh, what about her mom? Yeah, this is a good time to ask. What happened to her mom, if you don't mind my asking? Died when Pua was ten. Pretty rough on her. Only way she got through it was by going out on her board every day. That's a shame. And look at her. She's a champ. Future's as bright as they come. Turned into your basic all-around good kid, huh? With Pua, what you see is what you get. Just wants to serve. And be the best in the world while she's at it. I like Pua. She's a fun character. Those fish you wanted me to catch? Well, here they are. What do you think? Hey, you did it! Wasn't sure you were ready for him, but looks like I'm gonna have to stock the store with Ulua bait from now on. Tell Pua as soon as I'm done here, I'm driving up to Hilo. Last I saw, she was still trying to teach Frank how to surf. Your brother's a slow learner, huh? Welcome to my world, Mr. <laughs> Screw Mabu. you, Frank. Have a nice drive. This is a Joe gang. Okay, so he's gonna stay there for now. I guess that he doesn't actually leave yet. Uh, can I sell the other fish to Pua, though? Oh, oh, he just left right there. Buy crypto? Nah, bro, put your money into Big Island Bucks. Hey, what's going on? Uh, let's give him some fish. Trade you these fish for some Big Island bucks. Let's see what you've got. Looking good. Got some more there subs. Oh yeah, we're gonna hit one one k by the end of the summer. I can only hope. Okay, so the skinny ones are worth two. These dudes are only worth one buck, one buck okay, each. Okay, what else? Okay. Uh, that's all I need for now. I'll stop bugging you for now. Cool beans. Uh oh. Stream just buffered for a second, but I think we're back on. I just want to make sure that my internet's not going down. It's had a habit of doing that lately. But anyways, thanks for the congrats, Rachel. Yeah, if we hit a thousand subs, that's gonna be uh, pretty big for me. This whole channel just kind of started off as my brother and I finding something to do when we were home in quarantine. And uh, now we've got a small niche Nancy Drew following. It's exciting. So, it looks like there are rarer seashells starting to spawn in, but pretty slow drop rates, if I'm being honest. Ooh, my cat bumped my router. Okay, okay, I think we're back online now. Uh, my cat bumped into the router, and we, uh... Took a little dip there. Okay. Give me, give me one second. I want to make sure we're back online. Okay, I think we're good now. Uh, we're going to keep my cat away from the desk now, because don't need him interrupting the Big Island Buck grind. Uh, well, let's go ahead and pop a token into here, and we will read about some folklore. Yeah, let's start off with folklore, I guess. 
In addition to the gods which controlled every activity upon which their culture depended, from fishing to farming to making kappa cloth, Hawaiians believed in the supernatural beings that helped explain the vagaries... Did I read that right? Vagaries of the world around them. A race of very small, industrious Pimenchune were thought to be responsible for the construction of roads, dams, and hayus, walls and fish ponds that could not otherwise be accounted for. The Menchune only worked at night, and once they started a project, they had to complete it before dawn. They could be mischievous, but were rarely cruel. That's interesting. Oh, there's more pages. Wow, um... Hmm... Worried that the connection might be taking a dip again. I'm gonna pop out of that window real quick. OBS, talk to me. What's going on with the connection? It clearly says that I'm at four bars. Okay. All right, I think we're I think we're getting better now. I don't know what that was. Um, my router just was finicky for a second there. Oh, you know what it might be? There's electrical work going on in the backyard. Maybe they had to cut the power for like a couple seconds. I hope we're good now. Okay, sorry sorry about all the interruptions there. I'm just gonna listen to the playback and make sure that I'm coming through. Okay. Um, okay, I'll read this entry. I don't want to bore you guys with just non-stop lore entries, but I do want to be able to like actually learn more about this game because I've glossed over a lot of it in the past. The Night Marchers, or Huakai Po, were ghostly columns of ancient Hawaiian soldiers who were sometimes seen and heard chanting, beating drums, and carrying torches as they marched from the mountains to the sea, their feet never touching the ground. For immortals standing in their path, or looking them in the eyes would result in certain death. Some Hawaiian tall tales explained how natural landmarks came into existence. Before a recent earthquake toppled it, a large mass of lava rack on the southeast coast of Big Island stood balanced in such a way it would move, but not tip over when a strong wind blew or someone pushed it. That's weird. According to legend, Pele, goddess of the volcano, gave her sister Hiaka the task of going to Kauai. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> and returning with Lohayu, the man Pele wanted to marry. Before she left, Hiaka made Pele promise that she would not destroy anything that Hiaka loved while she was gone, including her dear friend Popo, who had taught her how to dance. Pele promised, and Hiaka left, but just as Hiaka had feared, Pele grew impatient and angry in Hiaka's absence and broke her promise. She sent a flow of lava to the beach where Hopo stood and turned her to stone so she could stay, sway forever to the eternal music of the crashing surf. That's brutal. Oh, and this is this the rock? Io Needle, a spectacular 2,000-foot rock spire on the island of Maui, was said to have been formed by a kupua, a person with magical powers, named Maui. How about that? Any relation, I wonder. <laughs> uh, the son of Hina, he dis disapproved of the man with whom his daughter had fallen in love, so he turned him into the spire so that his daughter could always look at him but never marry him. Legend has it that Maui was also responsible for the formation of the Hawaiian Islands. While fishing one day with his brothers, he snagged the floor of the ocean with a magical hook. Instructing his brothers not to look, he managed to pull a huge landmass to the surface. When his brothers, unable to resist, turned to see what Maui was doing, the land shattered, breaking into the separate islands that are today known as Hawaii. Fascinating. The story of a kapua... Oh, okay, so Kane Okala and Maui are supposed to be one and the same. Like, uh... Wizard people. Ooh, that's creepy. Okay, there's just a couple more pages, but if you want to read some. The story of Kapua, known as Kane Okala, is not as widely known. Back in ancient days, at a time when Pele's rumblings were particularly ominous, the people in a village close to her home in Kilauea, see I know how to pronounce that word, decided to try to placate her with a sacrifice. But instead of offering her food, which would have been a true sacrifice since they had not managed the crops well that year, they seized an ill-tempered man whom no one particularly liked and tossed him into the crater. Ooh, 
Pele realized that the man was not a sincere sacrifice as soon as her flames began to devour him. Furious, she ejected the burning man, flinging him into the forest. As the rain there doused the flames that had half consumed him, she gave him an appetite for revenge that rivaled her own. As soon as he could stand, the man went rampaging across the island, unleashing insects, vermin, disease, laying waste to crops, destroying the very thing the selfish and deceitful villagers had withheld from Pele, causing widespread hunger and starvation. Those who saw him said he was terrifying in sound and appearance, his voice destroyed by Pele's fire, his face disfigured by the flames, his skin horribly mottled and pocked. They called him Kane Okala, or Rough-Skinned Man. When at last Pele felt avenged, she locked him away in one of her many caves so no one, including herself, would have to look at him again. But whenever her anger is aroused, or she feels that her beloved islands are in danger, or she has otherwise been disrespected, she releases Kane Okala and allows him once to once again do her vengeful bidding. That's creepy. That's, uh... That entry did a lot more justice to the telling of uh, Kane Okala than Big Island Mike or Pua did. It'll cost you another Big Island buck if you leave and come back. So you sure you got your money's worth? Yes, I did. Alright. Uh, we'll have another look at some of that later. Sorry if the lore entries wasn't what everyone was hoping. No one liked him in life, and Pele said that he wasn't even worthy of a sacrifice. Yeah, that was a... A cheap, cheap gift to Pele, it sounds like. 3-5, delivery from JK. March 5th, delivery from JK, exclamation point, exclamation point. Wonder who or what JK is. Oh, look, a key. I'll take that. Uh, can I open up this back door now? Like that's gonna unlock this thing. No, but this will. So, I'm not supposed to be doing this yet, actually, because I haven't talked with Nancy. So what's gonna happen? Great map. No wonder Mike knows so much about this island. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Is that the correct spelling of Hawaii with a apostrophe or accent between the eyes? Because I never knew that. Does he at least get cable in those caves? No, Kaylee, I think Connie Okala. I don't know, maybe he just reads books or gets Gamefly or something. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about Gamefly. Okay. Uh, well, that's an interesting map. I guess there's nothing we can do with that right now. Uh, nothing too fishy in here, just the delivery coming from JK. JKL, Jack Kahuna Laguna, Spongebob versus the big one, 30 minute special, with Johnny Depp. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Uh, what do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? What do you think about all this Kane Okala stuff? I'd rather not say. You'd laugh. Oh, so you, you totally buy into it. So you believe he's real. He's slender Look, man. first the Healy Healy Center closes its doors to visitors and gets real secretive about what it's doing up there. Then something goes wrong with the pineapple crop. Coincidence? I don't think so. I mean, Kani Okala has shown up before when somebody endangered the islands. Why shouldn't I believe that he's back? Ooh, let's be feisty with her. Because this is the 21st century and he's just a myth. My dad said that after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, people saw Kane Okala all over the place, Ooh. including my grandfather. You gonna call my grandfather a liar? I'm saying that sometimes people, especially superstitious people, sometimes they see what they want to see. Well, I'm not the least bit superstitious, and I swear to you, I have seen Kane Okala. Now, Amsgray, I gotta work. Well, that pissed her off. So I guess that Kane Okala is, like, actually a real piece of Hawaiian mythology, and that they didn't just make him up for this game. Because, like, I know that Maui and Pele and everyone else is real, but I kind of thought that they might have just fabricated him for the game. And wow, that's a lot of those uh, clam shells. Those are pretty uncommon. Let's see. That's a rare one, too, that little gray shell. Are there any over here? I forget. I think it's just the one that we saw over here. That's the only spot. I just feel like there should be something else under this dock, but I never see anything. Is there a hidden message in the wall here? Alright, looks like my internet mellowed out, so that's good. Uh, we should call Nancy, honestly. I don't want to, <laughs> uh, but I guess I'll do it anyways. What time is it? 2.31. Uh, I'll probably go for another 30, 45 minutes, I think. Then I gotta get ready for work. I might stream this again tomorrow. I'm enjoying it. 
Uh, yeah, let's give Nancy a ring then, I suppose. Wait, I want to check. How much is snorkeling gear again? I forget. Or can we not even get snorkeling gear until we play as Frank? That might be it. Yeah. All right, time to call Nancy. Oh, we can call Richard Akins too. Let's do that. That's where Frank and Joe sleep under the dock. Richard yep. Richard Akins is unavailable. Please leave a message. Hi, Mr. Akins. It's Joe Hardy. Nothing important. Just checking in. Talk to you later. All righty. Let's call Nancy. I'm passing the case to you. Hello? Hey, Nance, what's going on? Why don't you tell me? All right, I will. Let's see. The last time we talked, I was about to... <laughs> and then I thought I'd call you, and here we are. Has Dr. Kim shown up yet? Nope. Nancy's just been loitering outside of a top-secret facility. I drove to the Healy Healy Research Center to see if anyone there knew where she was. But the guy I talked to, Malachi Craven, he was no help at all. Well, keep at it. She's got to turn up eventually. Say hi to Frank for me. Will do. Bye, Nance. All right. So we're going to have to call Joe again before we can get to Quigley. But we got to fix the solar panel because I did this whole thing out of order because I wasn't thinking. Uh, so camp Quigley. Beach Boys that we're talking about, Kokomo. Yeah. Okay, let's get this going. Where these new cells go must have something to do with the numbers on them. This is like stupid easy Sudoku, if I remember right. Like this one's missing a one. So I'm gonna put it there. It's also missing a nine. So I will put it here. What else do we need? This one's missing six and three. The puzzles in this game have two settings. Uh, it's just like collecting seeds that incredibly easily, or having to fabricate an entire science fair worth of data. Oh, there's two ones in this line. That can't be right. Wait, no. Maybe it doesn't matter. It's not really Sudoku. What else is down here that we need? This one is missing four. And this one on top needs five, six, and seven. Or five, two, and seven. Uh, somewhere I made a mistake because there's already a two in there. Damn it. Which one has a doubled up letter or number? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. There's two fours in this one. That's what it is. Did that do it? There, it's working. All right. Not Sudoku though. It messed me up for the longest time. Yeah, it's just really simple actually. So now we want to use the winch and get the solar panel up. Uh, I hate to be that guy, but I'm really thirsty, so I'm gonna go run downstairs for like 30 seconds to grab a glass of water, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> so, excuse me just one second.
Rule one of Nancy Drew, always have a snack and a drink. Yeah, I just didn't want to have to eat it into the mic, and I can't mute this in a no moment's notice. All right, we're back. So. Now what do we do? Does that give us the power to work the radio? Power. It does. That helps. How did I gain, like, five viewers when I went to get a drink? <laughs> it's just like, oh, guys, he's finally gone. We can enjoy the unadulterated beauty of Kapu Cave. Let's see. So how far into this thing are we? Uh, not that far, J-Cat. We're just kind of messing around, honestly. Where's that clipboard that said, um, the frequency you need? 18.305? Okay. So... One... Yeah, the goal- oh, what did I just do? I messed it up. The goal for this run is basically to just, uh, learn everything we can. Because there's so much about this game that I never really understood or paid attention to. What am I- <laughs> I don't understand anything about how this works. This is such a bad interface. One. Can I move to the side? Okay, here we do. Here we go. Eighteen. So the dial on the top right does nothing, I guess. 305. Now what channel is she on? Oh. Did she say what channel on this? Use this radio to call me at this, this frequency, 18.305. Do you know that I am a walking encyclopedia of any subject of pulp, pop culture? No, Massey, I did not know that. Wow. I came in like 20 seconds before you left, says Jcat. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um, am I just supposed to keep on trying different channels? Hmm? This one has an eight on it. Maybe I did that. This is Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Dr. Kim, are you there? <laughs> yes, I've been worried about you. Quigley Kim with the connect mic. I've been worried about you. Your camp is a mess. Someone ransacked it. <laughs> Where exactly are you? E. Dur Rock. Oh yeah, I'm over at North Unintelligible. Think you can be here by sundown. Could you please repeat that? Dr. Kim, I can barely hear you. Could you repeat those coordinates, please? No, wait, I still don't know where you are. Dr. Kim? Nancy Drew calling Dr. Quigley Kim. Come in, please. Give up, Nancy. It's not happening. Great. All I heard was green trigger rock or something. How am I supposed to figure out where that is? Jcat says this game has heavy lore that's hard to find. Well, that just makes me all the more excited to read literally everything I can find. So I will continue to do that. Uh, so we should call good old Joe Hardy now. Actually, no, let's give Ned a call. Nedger, what's up? About 20 minutes by bike. Hi, Ned. Sorry I hung up on you like that before. Believe it or not, that was the Hardy Boys I saw. They're here, too. No kidding. Doing what? Assignment. They're on assignment. They're doing a background check on this local surfer girl. Somebody hired them to check out a surfer girl? <laughs> and her father, yeah. They're getting paid to check out a Hawaiian surfer girl while you're camping in the jungle chasing insects for free. All right. Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, yeah. Nancy, in case you're wondering what that thing you're holding is, it's the short end of the stick. Ooh, that's Very cool. Very funny. So what's going on? Uh, we're looking for Dr. Kim, and we found a mad scientist. I went looking for Dr. Kim at this private research facility and found a mad scientist named Dr. Malachi Craven instead. 20 minutes of this game Ever is like one-fourth of, of the game. No. You're absolutely right. Is he a bug guy, too? He's part botanist, part biochemist. But mostly Markle he's a grouch. Great, yeah. What's he working on? Uh, top secret. I have a feeling it would be a good idea to find out. Rumor has it that the Healy Healy, that's the name of Craven's research facility, 
Rumor has it that whatever he's doing up there is destroying the local pineapple crop. Yikes. Well, that's all we got for you, Ned. See ya. I should get going. Call again, okay? I will. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna forget to call him, I'll bet. Okay, let's go back to Frank and Joe mode. Hello? Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. How's it going? Well... Whoa. So what did Dr. Kim say when you told her somebody or something had torn up her camp? Frankly, I'm not sure she heard me. The radio connection we had was really bad. In fact, she rattled off the coordinates of where she is now so I could plug them into my GPS, but all I heard was north 19 degrees 20-something. I think she said she was at Green Trigger Rock, but I could be wrong about that, too. I don't suppose you'd happen to have a map of the island, would you? Actually, actually, I know where there's a great map of the island. I'll go back and take a look at it. Green Trigger Rock, huh? That's it. That's if cool. you find out anything, give me a call. Will do. Are you going to be able to get back here with the bridge washed out like that? No, but I'll be okay. That bridge is the least of my worries. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. That's cool that Joe said he already knew where to find the map, because I don't think he would normally say that. So, just right back here. That's not going to unlock this door. So this is going to be nice and speedy. So, if I were a green trigger rock, where would I be? Wait a minute. Three finger rock. That's what that bug doctor must have said. Coordinates time. I'm going to take a picture of that. I'd better call Nancy with these coordinates. Oh, okay. It's gone. <laughs> oh, I can probably see it in the inventory. Nancy Drew, who is currently unavailable. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Nance, good news. I figured out that Dr. Kim isn't at Green Trigger Rock. She's at Three Finger Ooh, Rock. The coordinates are north 19 degrees, 24 hours, 42 minutes, by west 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Good job, Joe. Now, what, hey. now duck. <laughs> That's not good music for this. Hey, Nance, good news. <laughs> I figured out that Dr. That was Kim such out of place music. Oh, my God. Three Finger Rock. The coordinates are... North 19 degrees, 24 hours, oh my 42 God. minutes. By west, 155 degrees, 9 hours, 1 minute. Gosh, I'm good. Thank you, Joe. Gooba says, love that more YouTubers are doing Nancy Drew videos. I love Arkham Hunt, but I can only watch the marathon so many times. Same here, yeah. Uh, if anyone else wants some good YouTubers to watch uh, blind playthroughs of, uh, your Gibbs is a real small one. He's this cool, mellow Canadian commentator. He's played all the games, and I love his commentary, because he's such a pure dude. He's so simple. And um, Gab Smolders, who's like a big streamer lady, she's actually started playing the Nancy Drews lately, and she does them all blind on stream, and it's uh, pretty fun to watch her play too. She's only done like four or five of them, but she's fun. Okay, so Green Trigger Rock, and we have the coordinates, so let's get back in the car before Joe goes to the hospital for a concussion. But yeah, if anyone out there is starved for Nancy content, I would totally recommend your Gibbs or Gab Smolders. Let's see. Gab, you know, kind of cheats, though, because she streams everything, so her chat's always there to help her out. So she's always got smooth sailing. Gibbs has a bit more of a brutal approach. <laughs> okay, does Nancy maybe just have this in her journal? Because that would be a big help. Uh, yep. Let's see. North 19, 24, 42. Let's do that real quick. 19, 24, 40. Oh, I got to click on each one. 24. 42. And then west by um, 155.91. Then I'm guessing it's 0901 is what I have to do. And three finger rock. We got it. Let's giggity giggity get on over there. Oh, that's weird. That's creepy. Okay. Now it'll let me click. Joe Hardy is my favorite Hardy boy. Massey. I can respect that. They're both so great, but I feel like Joe's underrated. He just gets played off as comic relief. Ooh. What is that sound? Spooky whispering. Fascinating. Oh boy. My old enemy. The frass puzzle. Might as well start collecting. Okay, 
Red Frass is taken care of. I love how Nancy just knows what to do. Peak game design. Click through 30 screens of jungle. Oh, I love the rope bridge, though. At least the storm didn't watch this one out. Team Frank. I can, I can respect that, Gooba. All right, here we are. Quigley, you up there? Hello? Are you Dr. Cam? Yes, your timing couldn't be better. Nancy Drew, I presume? That's me. That's me. Terrific, because if you're Nancy, then you know who I am, and we can skip any further time-consuming introductory rigmarole and get right to work. Sound good? Sure thing. Actually, no, I have a question first. May I ask you a question first? <sighs> Make it fast. We've got a lot of work to do. Uh, what are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? I'm roped into this tree so I can observe a nest of parasitic wasps. I believe it's a nest of Pristomeris hawaiianus. But Hymenoptera aren't really my thing, so I could be wrong. Hymenoptera? As you know, I'm much more interested in Lepidoptera, the larva of which many wasps Isn't that butterflies? Upon. Specifically, I'm studying Norsa Beta odorata, which, interestingly enough, are carnivores themselves. Now, to my knowledge, the ichneumonid wasps I'm observing do not parasitize the larva of the Norsa Beta, although I... Ah, nuts. Dr. Kim, is something wrong? Well, yeah, something's wrong. I no longer have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and please, just call me Quigley. Hearing someone call me Dr. Kim makes me think of my father. He was a herpetologist. He collected snakes. Whereas I, from a very young age, collected insects, a hobby which he wholeheartedly endorsed. Why am I only of learning course, now that this was because he was secretly feeding guy. my insects to his snakes. And to this day, I hate snakes. There are no snakes in Hawaii, you know. No native species, at least. Nuts. Dr. Kim's kind of fine though, Kaylee, get out of here. Not let this happen. What? Wh what happened? In case you hadn't noticed, I'm totally off subject here. I have a very bad habit of digressing. So from here on out, it's your job to keep me on task and focused. Understood? Okay. Sure thing, Quigley. Good. Now, let's get to work, shall we? Where's the clipboard? Oh, God damn it. What clipboard? I told you to bring my clipboard when we talked on the radio. I couldn't uh, hear you. You kept cutting in and out. I don't know, Nancy. You're getting off to a pretty shaky start here. Oh, that's no good. Come back down here, Quigley. Oh, shoot. I forgot to tell her that somebody trashed your camp. That's true, too. We should probably tell her that. Well, then. Uh, I guess we're going back. I'll go ahead and pick up the purple for us, too. And I think there was a blue one that we missed on the way out here. Team Joe and Nancy. Joe and Nancy, wow. I feel like Nancy's into Frank, if any of them, I must say. He looks up at the trees where Kim is. I didn't know cake grew. Oh, Gooba! <laughs> no! <laughs> Delete this. <laughs> God, Chad is wild in today. These look like bananas. They might be bananas. Okay. Uh, screw Quigley. I'm not gonna get that quick board. Let's just go back to Frank and Joe mode. Find out what happened to Joe after we sent them on a mission. Hello? Frank? Well, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. Jinkies. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's immersion center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. It was us. And we wham, did it. Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Frank's crush on Nancy. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? <laughs> well, let's see. I can't get over how the peaceful you, Hawaiian track. This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Oh, Anything I can do to help? 
Nope. So far, so good. Okay. But if you change your mind, just let me know. I will. So how are you doing? I'm trying to figure out whether what happened to Joe was just bad luck, or whether there's more going on around here than meets the eye. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, just holler. Deal. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I can't get over that the peaceful Aloha track started playing as someone just decked Joe in the face with a freaking tiki mask. I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Uh, hey, Big Island. Frank, how's your you guys have insurance? You the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum. Oh my god, Hugh said he was gonna buy the merch. For cash. Uh, the guy didn't look like a bum to Joe. The guy didn't look like a bum to Joe. I thought he said the guy was wearing a mask. No, he said all he saw was a mask, but he got a look at the guy's sandals. You know, just before he blacked out. Said they were Duro Souls. Duro Expensive souls. brand. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. That's no, that's no good. Um, my brother would feel a lot better if he knew who did it. My brother and I would feel a lot better if we knew who did it. You Speaking of around, brothers. Play detective like on TV? Go right ahead. Yeah, speaking of brothers, I don't know if Good I mentioned, but, uh, Catch you later. Julian is out on a camping trip right now, and I think Pox Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania? That looks like a piece of paper. Huh. Davy's Pawn Shop. Yeah, uh, he's in Punxsutawney right now, camping with his college roommate, and last night they got attacked by bobcats, and he sent a video of their call in the middle of the night, and it's so creepy. I, I said I would earlier, I'll play it into the mic right now. Listen to this. Imagine camping and hearing this in the middle of the night. It's kind of quiet. <laughs> okay, maybe that's not even gonna come up because it is like really quiet in the video, but still. It's like the, listening to the freaking Jersey Devil or something. Right now, and I think, oh, there's my playback. Don't mind that. And back to detective mode. Alright, um... Would it be ridiculous and unrealistic if I were to try to get scuba before the end of the stream? Is the scuba gear out yet? Hmm. Twelve for one buck? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh no, that costed twelve dollars! Crap! <laughs> oh god, I thought I was paying one dollar for twelve pieces of bait. Shit. That's not a good deal. Sea beans, kukui nut. What is all this stuff? Polished. Are these. This is for uh, making seashells, isn't it? Ooh, fish attractor? There's a lure here. I never knew about that. We totally gotta get the fish attractor lure. Okay, time to start grinding some fish money again. I wanna see the bobcats. No, they're. In <laughs> Do not pet the bobcats, J Cat. I'm begging you. <laughs> Wow, that's a bit of a discourse going on right there. Looks like Big Island Mike and Pua are not getting along about something. Okay, what should I buy first, the fish attractor or scuba gear? Because, like, the fish attractor could be the key to passive income in that billionaire mindset. Pet them, J Cat. Don't listen to them. J Cat, please. I'm, I assure you that Bobcats are not good kitties. They're bad boys. Those dudes are worth $2 each, I think. And we still haven't caught the other fish yet. But I'm pretty sure Ulua are the most expensive. Run, Pua. Big Mike is scary. Jamie has no idea what he's talking about. No, Kaylee, I can say I'm pretty good authority that bobcats do not make good pets. Okay. Uh, we still have... Let's just fish out the rest of this bait. We paid good money for it. I still want to see the video. I'll send it to the Discord, because, like, it's really quiet. Oh, I clicked on accident. Dang. Uh, but yeah. It's very scary. It sounds like a Left 4 Dead banshee or something, like the, the witch in Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Is 
It sounds like a uh, Fiona from Castle Malloy, is what it sounds like. I'm catching nothing but these skinny crayfish. I should probably just go back to crawl buying them. <clears throat> I should probably just go back to buying the night crawlers. Rats. That one got away. Oh, you're kidding me. That to I totally hit that. Cause um those night crawlers did seem to do a pretty good job of catching the Lua. But I wanna try all the bait at least once. God, nothing but these long skinny dudes. I'm gonna have to read an entry on Big Island Mike's Terminal about the wildlife. Oh my god, okay, so this red bait, the red herring right here, super bait, these skinny dudes love it. I can I can safely deduce that. And they're worth decent money, it's it's two for each, so. I can make some good profit if I catch nothing but these dudes. Oh, frame drop. Oh, I catch just another one of them. Okay, well, I've already made my money back because that's a uh, $12 a fish. I think it is. Okay, I can catch literally nothing but these fish, it looks like. That's kind of cool. Heading out. I actually have to try to work roll. Well. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for stopping by, Gooba. Oh, man. I got work in, what, 4 o'clock, and it's 2.58 right now. I'll give it another good 20 minutes. I want to see if I can't get this uh, special lure in my fishing rod. We'll just make some good money right now. I tried playing this fishing simulator game with my friend on Xbox called Fishing Planet, and either I'm really bad at it or it's just unplayable. Oh, Nalua! Perfect! God, I love the look on his face. But yeah, it uh, doesn't seem like the best game, if I'm being honest. Fishing Planet is kind of uh, low quality. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll have to give it another try. It's a goofy game. We are going to actually make a good bit of profit regarding how expensive this bait was in the first place. That's 10 now. I can catch nothing but these skinny dudes. You know what I should do is, um, I should just get, like, an absurd amount of fish. Oh no, I clicked too soon. Dang it. I should just get an absurd amount of fish in the middle of a conversation with Pua and just say, Hey, would you like to have 400 fish real quick? <laughs> and then just, like, throw them all down. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It'll be fun. I got one. Okay, that's the last of my bait for now. Uh, let me check for some more seashells real quick, because they probably washed up. A bunch of the spotty dudes. Oh, we already checked that spot. Yes, move along. And another. I think I'm going to do another stream like this uh, Labor Day weekend with Waverly. We'll have like a fun back-to-school stream. At least I think that'd be fun. I don't know, maybe you guys don't want to celebrate going back to school. Hey, Pua. Hey, Frank. How's Joe doing? Oh, he's just fine. He's okay, but he'd feel a lot better if he knew who attacked him like that. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, Never play you? this game on Senior Detective, says Chromie. Seashells do not like you. Funny, I happen to be on Senior Detective right now. Maybe. 
I mean, we are friends with this girl whose father is a big wig attorney back home. <laughs> Nancy. You're kidding, right? About our friend's dad? No. But about suing you? If my brother sued someone every time he got smacked upside the head, we'd be in court for decades. <laughs> That's a relief. God. I remember, I, from the little bit of the Hardy Boys books I read when I was younger, Joe and Frank were always getting thumped up the head, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, buy some fish. Is it true you'll buy these fish from me? Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Okay, so how much are we going to make from this? Two for each of those. That's that's profit already. And then our Lua is worth six. Is that right? Four. Okay, okay. what else? That's okay. Uh, some argument you have with your dad. That was some argument you and your dad had. You heard us? Uh, yeah. Everyone I did. I think everyone within ten square miles heard you. My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. So can mine. Bestie, me too. What did your dad do? Let's talk about something else, okay? Uh, hey, let's turn in the necklace while we're at it. I was told that if I turn this necklace into you, I can get some big island bucks? You can if you made it right. Let me take a look. Nice job. Here are your big island bucks. So that one's only worth pleasure doing also. business with you. Yes, right. I'll get out of your hair. Have fun. Okay, so thirty-three big island dollars. We could get snorkel gear right now if we wanted to, I think. But I don't want to just yet. I'm getting the fish attractor. So now we have that. And as expensive as it is, I'm hoping it's gonna increase my RNG with fishing casts. Okay then. Let's look at this other bait, too. Uh, let's get some of the low-quality bait here. And then I have just enough to buy that, but instead, I think I'm gonna go get a lore entry, because I want to learn the names of these fish. Oh, and then I'll grab a shave ice, too. I deserve some shave ice. Okay. Hawaiian plants. Hula. Shelling in Hawaii. Poi. Oh, damn it, which one of these is gonna be about fish? Is it poi? Because I know that poi is like a food. It's not gonna be Kappa. I don't think it's Hula. I'm gonna try Poi. Taro is a perennial herb that can be grown in marshy areas or in dry areas that receive sufficient rainfall. It has a large heart shaped leaves and stems that may be red, green, or black in color. The leaves can be cooked like spinach and eaten, but it's the bottom part of the tuberous root, or corm, which is part is most valued as food. One of the items that men and women who first settled Hawaii brought with them in their canoes were taro, or kalo, plants. They knew that if they could grow taro, they could survive indefinitely on the food they would make it from. They made poi. Poi is not just a staple food for ancient Hawaiians, it was a sacred food. A gift from the gods. To this day, poi remains a popular food in Hawaii. Interesting. Ancient Hawaiians made poi by baking or steaming the tubers in underground ovens for up to three hours. After peeling them, they pounded the tubers. Okay, I can tell that this is not going to be about uh, fish, so it looks like I messed up. Since poi is traditionally eaten out of a bowl with the fingers, and the stiffest poi is said to be one finger, the runniest poi is three finger, while poi having an ideal consistency is two finger, because it's a source of very easily digested carbohydrates. Poi is often fed to babies and to the elderly. That's cool. I wonder if I could get poi somewhere in Ohio. Yes, okay. That's enough poi knowledge for now. Um, Hawaiian plants, folklore. Uh, man, I don't think I'm going to be able to... I guess shelling is the only thing I could try. They might tell me about the fish. Hey, this will cost you a big island buck, pal. God damn it. This will cost you a big island buck, pal. Shells can be found by walking along the beach at the water's edge, scanning tide pools, or by carefully snorkeling around coral reefs. No matter where you're shelling, however, never ever take a live shell. For one thing, removing a living creature from its natural habitat is not only a sure way to destroy it, but you will be destroying any chance it had of reproducing as well. By removing one living shell from the beach, you could actually be removing thousands. Also, many live shells are poisonous. Cone shells kill their prey by injecting them with venom. The larger the organism upon which the shell normally preys, the more toxic its sting. To be safe, always pick a shell up by its widest part, and be ready to put it down quickly should you discover it's not as empty as you thought. I'm low-key, like, actually kind of scared of shells. <laughs> like, picking up shellfish and stuff. Shit's kind of spooky to me. Doesn't ice have fishing? Yeah, it does. Uh, Icicle Creek has fishing. You can slam death- you can snag depth charges that just blow up the whole lake. Uh, common in shallow water, great flesh-colored, tooth-ridged crenulations. 
The crenulated auger. Corded auger. Common on reefs, smooth spiraling cords can grow up to two inches. Prickly horn. This is interesting. Island horn. Very common under rocks. In shallow water, beaded spirals grows to less than one inch. Common found in sand on reefs. Yeah, we found plenty of flea cones. So that's what they're called. Imperial cone. That one looks cool. Uncommon. Found uh, on reefs. Gray, white, brown spirals. This is interesting. Sunrise shell. Member of the scallop family. Rare, found on sand. Bright colors supposedly make it easiest to see its sunrise, hence the name. Bubble cone. Rare, found on reefs. White at mid body. Pale pink. Vague orange brown spirals. Cowry. Those are cool. I think those are the simple ones. Toothed aperture. Uh, whoa, these are some pretty crazy ones. Variegated sundial. Heliacus variegatus. Uncommon on reefs. Cream with beaded black spirals. Grotus to a half inch. Fairly common on sand. Smooth surface. Color often matches the sand in which it lives. The, oh, Hawaiian olive. Those are cool. And Nicobar's triton. Okay, that's definitely the coolest one. Fairly common in and near shallow water. Nobby, multicolored. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, so is there nowhere that I can find out about fish in this game? Because I want to know what the names of these other fish no before I fish them again. Um, surely there's like a pamphlet in here or something. Newspaper? Big Island Tame. Times. Mystery infestation jeopardizes pineapple crop. Sudden unexplained die-off has growers mystified. An unidentified pest is causing severe damage to local pineal crops. According to a spokesperson from the University Extension Service, growers from all around the island, but especially in the Healy Healy River Valley, have reported that pineapple plants in all stages of mat maturation are simply wilting and dying, despite the absence of any reasonably observable pest. Weird. False alarm threatens Healy Healy secrecy. Police response to possible break-in is stymied. Interesting. There was a break-in at the Healy Healy, and like an alarm was tripped, but it was a false alarm? Strange. And that is a picture of William Shakespeare to the right. You can't sneak that past me. Okay, so is there nothing else in here? Hey, Big Island, can you tell me about fish? Hey, what's going on? Uh, I guess not. I might as well bring this up. I couldn't help but overhear you and Pua arguing earlier. Anything serious? Father-daughter stuff. No big thing. Forget about it. Hmm. Kind of remind me of some of the fights Joe and I've had. Kind of reminded me of some of the fights Joe and I've had. I said forget about it! Easy, Mike. Just making some conversation. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Alright then. Uh, maybe we'll just have to name the fish ourselves then. There's not like a pamphlet or anything around here, is there? No. Oh well. Oh wait, I'm curious real quick. What is the most expensive kind of necklace that I can get money for? Dancing Lizard. Nico Bar's tried on that. Dance of Pele. Those are cool. Bird of Paradise. Shark Bite. Okay, so it's it's the uh, the lizard. Dancing Lizard, yeah. We'll have to try to get some of those. Otherwise, I'm going to go chum the beach for some more shells, some more casts in, see how this new... Uh, fishing lure does, if it has any effect. And uh, then I might call stream for now, but I'm probably going to continue this tomorrow or the next day. I'm having a good time. Just some chill vacation vibes. There was that minigame in Deception Island uh, in Whale World with the feeding frenzy. I guess that counts as a fishing minigame. That's kind of funny. Man, Ghost Dogs needed a fishing minigame. I would have loved if they had that. Oh, okay, look, we do have a, a little uh, swivel rig now. Interesting. Let's see what kind of effect that has. Oh my god, that was instant. There's no way. Did we just crack the meadow wide open? Oh my gosh, we're catching fish so fast now. And we caught the new kind, too, the yellow dude. This is stupid. This is actually stupid how fast we're catching fish. Yes. Oh my god. We're going to cause a mass extinction event. 
tragedy of the commons speedrun. You're kidding me. We're almost halfway through our bait. I can't take my eyes off it or else I'll lose a fish. I wonder how much these yellow dudes are worth because this uh, cheap bait gets a lot of them. Okay, this fishing lure is magic. It's a must have if you're trying to make money in this game. I can assure you, this is exactly how fishing works in real life. I just put a piece of plastic on my line, and then I just commit the tragedy of the commons that they taught me about in environmental science. Pretty sure Nancy's breaking the fishing limit for the day. If these yellow dudes are worth at least two Big Island bucks each, then we're gonna make some serious money off of them. Once I start using the, the Zippy's bait, I'm gonna make like an insane amount of money, I think, off of the Lewis. I'm gonna give that a try next. It's 3.15 right now. Yeah, we'll probably go 10 more minutes. Like, it's instant! This is actually hilarious. Just gonna be sitting on a throne of fish. I'm gonna fish so much that I'll be able to buy the deed to this property from Big Island Mike himself. Look at that. Just goes right under as soon as I cast out. I wonder if this is the best way to speedrun getting snorkeling here, or if it's not even worth buying it then. There should be a speedrun category to buy everything in Big Island Mike's shop. We are gonna get so much shave ice, you guys. It's not even funny. That's 11 catfish. <laughs> you know what? Um, I'm gonna make a necklace real quick. I wanna be able to buy more bait so I can just have a massive downpour of fish when I go to, to um, Pua. Let's make another Aloha necklace. That'll get us enough to buy this of bait, I think. It's only eight. So, this dude. This is therapeutic. There, not bad. Oh, do I just have to make another one, actually? No, I'm sure on the white beads. Hey, for, uh, Hey, what's going on? Got some more got necklaces. Got another necklace for you. Let's have a look. Nice job. Here are your Big Island bucks. Poor, poor catfish. Pleasure doing business with you. See ya. See you in a bit. Have fun. I would actually be having the time of my life if I was at a resort like this in real life where I could exchange fish for currency. But yeah, buy that. Two down left. Um, can I get some freaking shave ice, dog? Let's do it. Okay, what sounds like a good combo? God, these syrups all look so good. Um, I'm gonna go for some lime. Let's, let's go extra bitter on this one. I like bitter stuff. Watermelon lime. That should do it. Excellent. <laughs> nice. All right. I am refreshed. Time for just one more cast. Okay. So this is the bait that really draws out the aluas, which is a really expensive fish. Let's see how many I can get. Okay, those dudes are still expensive. The skinny dudes like that, um, I'm not sure what kind of fish those are. They almost look like they might be tiny walleye. And I don't know how much the catfish are worth yet. They look cool though. But the Alua, Alua is the big one. It's like a four. Oh, those dudes are kind of bad. They're only worth one. 
Come on. Show me the money. No. That's the exact opposite of what you to show me. Didn't get oh, anything. Damn it, I clicked too fast. I wasn't thinking. That's on me. Okay, ten more. Decent money. are all right. We've already made like $18 out of those ones alone. <laughs> Just don't stop coming. This game probably would be pretty hard to speedrun with all the RNG in it. I'd be down for it though. I think it'd be fun. It's almost 320. I must say, my Lua game is slightly off today. We still don't know how much the catfish are worth, because it's possible that they're going to be, like, big money. Yeah, there he is. Looks like the... It looks like Flynn's dad from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. <laughs> Except if he shaved his mustache and eyebrows. Oh god. Okay, let's see if we can get a couple more. Catfish. Alright, I'll take it. Hey there, Pooh. Hope you're ready to get your hands dirty. Hey, what's going on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Oh my god. Okay, so those dudes are only worth one. But even so, we got a ton of them. Oh my god. Oh man, it just doesn't stop. Okay, what else? <laughs> I'll check back with you later. Sounds good. That is so much fish, we have $47. Oh man, a wise man would buy the snorkeling machine. But an even smarter man would put all of his fishing money back into fish bait. Which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> oh my god. I hope I don't regret this. And we can also make some beads too, I think. Like, I want to see this stuff real quick. This is this is like a special kind of glass that we need for some of the necklaces. Might as well buy some. I'll need it sooner or later. Well then, <laughs> we got lots of fishing bait. Uh, I'm I'm having a great time. I'm having a blast in this game. I'm gonna do another shave ice before I sign off. Otherwise, uh, thanks so much everybody for hanging around in the stream. I'm having a great time. I hope you are too. Uh, tomorrow or maybe the next day, I'll continue this. I'm just having a great time collecting shave ice, getting fishes, getting mad amounts of seashells and all that. I think I'll do one last walk on the beach before I go. That should do it. Good old shave ice. That hit the spot. Jamie, did you just change the UI on there? I don't think I did, no. I don't think you can change the UI for the Hardy Boys. It's always wooden. Anything else on the shore? That's a good one. Well then, everybody, uh, glad you guys had a good one. Kaylee, we're just about to sign off. I'll have a good day at work. You hope you guys have a good day, too. 
and join me next time where we become a fishing tycoon and break six figures in Big Island Bucks. It's been real, and don't forget to vote for Holt. Let me just save my game now. Um, fishing meta. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody.